In response to the snowballing child sex scandal at Penn State, a flurry of legislation is about to be introduced in Harrisburg. And some lawmakers are angry and pulling no punches. Joe Holden's on the story. He is live in our Wilkesboro newsroom with all the details. Candace and Drew, good evening. Penn State is about to come under harsh scrutiny in Harrisburg. Lawmakers say a bipartisan move is underway to first deal with weak spots in the laws that deal with calling police when suspected abuse is witnessed. And secondly, about closing a loophole that promotes a culture of secrecy at Old Main. To remove half of our appropriation. It was the hard work of ousted Penn State President Graham Spanier in 2007 that now keeps the lid on many details of the child sex crime investigation at the school. You see Spanier fought hard and successfully lobbied to exclude Penn State from having to comply with Pennsylvania's right to know law. Now state lawmakers who granted Penn State's exemption are pushing back. I believe that exemption needs to be removed and they need to operate as the other state universities do, as well as other state agencies do, that is, that all their documents are presumed public. Penn State and three other state schools are unique in that each receives some taxpayer money, a half a billion in all. They're not owned or controlled by the state. Spanier and crew forcefully spoke out in the spring when it was announced the state was cutting Penn State's funding in half. We are willing to do our fair share, but this is not our fair share. In the end, the state only cut its funding of Penn State by 19 percent. People have since attacked the school for holding back on the public's right to know, fanning the flames of scandal centered on an institution reputed to rule in secrecy. A grand jury claims ex-coach Jerry Sandusky had sexually abused children around the campus for years. Is there a connection now? Why did the university fight to keep itself out of the sunlight? Lawmakers sounded off. Monroe County Representative Mario Scavella said the school's taking state dollars. We should know what you're doing. Lawmaker Phyllis Mundy of Luzerne County scoffed, quoting, they're private when they want to be and public when they want to be public. Representative Eddie Day Pashinsky called for hearings and a total and complete review. Local college students told us about the perception of a cover up at PSU. There's too many people that knew about what happened, what went on. They shouldn't really worry about like keeping like their good name clean. It's like something happened. And Previously, the attorney general commented to say as far as secrecy is concerned, consider that two university administrators are charged in an alleged cover up of child sex crimes. Live tonight from the Wilkes-Barre Newsroom, Joe Holden, Eyewitness News.